Hi guys, I'm Chang and welcome back to another video. This may come as a surprise, but in a few days, I'm flying solo to Vietnam for my second exam. I will speak more about that later and how United Airlines lost my ticket last Friday. I posted a story a few days ago for over on Instagram. Connect with me on Instagram if you want to follow the journey in real time. Actually, they're on one of my posts. I mentioned that just this month, I was granted an access permit. And for a few days, we thought about it and we decided to inquire to fly for Vietnam for that. Because the Vietnamese government isn't issuing the typical tourist visa, my American husband had to book a tourist packet through a travel agency. Now I didn't have to book it through the agency but I did, only because the travel agency has dedicated flights for overseas Vietnamese for the Lunar New Year. But if you keep up with the news in Vietnam, not everything is as it seems. More routes are opening up, but the airfare remains pricey. Now we decided to book the airfare with a reputable travel agency in Vietnam. They quoted my route trip flights for 2300 and I get to quarantine at home. Now, as for my husband, this is where it doesn't make sense. They quoted his ticket to 4,120 and they will guarantee his seat. If they also set him up with a five-year TRC visa and in this tour package, it includes a three days quarantine accommodation with food in Da Nang and a flight to Ho Chi Minh City. And he said that the juice was not worth the squeeze or $4,000 is not worth his 3 weeks in Vietnam. But he was still hard pressed for me to go. I mentioned in my previous vlog that I was pretty homesick and that was around the corner. I have a birthday coming at the end of the month and my sister-in-law in Saigon will deliver my nephew at any moment. So I felt okay to spend the amount that I did, but the obstacle to arrive to Vietnam are not over yet. Now to enter Vietnam, travelers must either have a special or exclusive tourist visa or just carry a Vietnamese passport. But you also must have a negative COVID PCR result 72 hours before landing to Vietnam. The difficulty is not being COVID negative, but for me it's finding a location that they test for travelers. Many clinics and hospitals are hit by patients who are testing for the new strain. And they all told me I need to have symptoms for me to have a test or that the PCR result arrive two to four business days later. Finally, I was able to buy a place that they test using PCR, but at a cost of $200. For those who think about making this journey, make sure that you make an appointment 10 hours before your departure, early enough so that you can get your hand on the document sooner and not make call asking them why they haven't they sent over the PCR documents. As everything seems like nothing could go wrong, traveling to Vietnam again seems impossible. I attempted to depart this past weekend for Vietnam, but United Airlines lost my ticket to Vietnam. I arrived to the airport five hours before my flight to San Francisco. I checked in, went through the security checkpoint, and found my gate. Everything went well until the United staff called out that my flight would be delayed for 30 minutes. I felt okay because it's just 30 minutes due to mechanical issue with the plane. But then 30 minutes later, they then delayed it for another 30 minutes and again for another hour. By that time, they won't fly in the area to San Francisco. I'm sure you would imagine how I felt at this point. But thankfully, my travel agency made things right. So a few tips I recommend. 
is avoid traveling with United if you can. Buy travel insurance for long haul flights and choose early morning flights. Maybe traveling to Vietnam isn't for everyone right now. If I didn't have the reasons that I mentioned, I would stay put in America. So traveling to Vietnam is possible, but at a high cost. Thanks everyone for watching. We will see you on the next one. Thank you.